No team has been more dominant in the 2007 Tournament of State Champions than the All-Stars representing the state of Georgia. The Warner Robins American Little League has rolled through the tournament with four wins and averaged 13 and a half runs per ball game in those four wins. However, in the two previous championship games, you have, now, you have found a champion who has had at least one loss in the tournament. Trying to keep that streak alive is the all-star team from Weddington Little League in Weddington, North Carolina, the North Carolina State champs, who advanced to the championship game today with a win over Tennessee in the semifinals, 11 to 10. Good evening, everyone. Jason Filia and John Gregory along with you here on MSPN, set to bring you tonight's championship game in the 2007 Tournament of State Champions. It's David Cardwell pitching for North Carolina, the first pitch to hitter Justin Jones is driven into center field, but right at center fielder Matt Newmoff, who retires the side or retires the out for out number one. Here's Blake Jackson, the shortstop, in his first at bat. We've got Kevin Dobas on the grass at third as Cardwell's into the windup, and the 1-1 pitch is lined right up the middle. That's through for a base hit. Blake Jackson with a solid single to center, a one-out hit. And Georgia has its first base runner, which is really nothing new to them. They pounded out 50, uh, 57 hits, I should say, in this tournament. As a team, they are hitting 475. Spencer Sato hitting 538, seven for 13, a couple of doubles. He's knocked in four here in the Tournament of Champions. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Here's Cardwell with the pitch, and that one's taken on the outside corner for a called strike. Sato goes down looking for out number two. Two away, Blake Jackson stays at first base, and that brings up Cortez Broughton, a first baseman. And, John, I think people are still talking about the home run he hit on day one here in pool play in the tournament. Yeah, it was really impressive. You know, they went out and measured it out in the parking lot. He hit 287 feet. Here's the 0-1. That one swung on to Hopper down the line. That's fair and down to the corner in right field. On his way to third is Blake Jackson, who hesitates momentarily, now trots his way over to third base. That little hesitation there may have cost Georgia a run. He stopped right there at second base. As it is, it's a double for Cortez Broughton right down the line. Georgia now has runners at second and third with two away, and Jeremiah Stevens will come to the plate. Cardwell gets the sign into the windup and the payoff pitch again. That one's taken high, ball four, and the bases are loaded. Now Caleb Daffron, the third baseman, will stand in with a chance to do some damage here. The two balls, two strikes, two outs. And the pitch is swung on, lifted into right field. Kalana back on it. He's under it and puts it away to retire the side. Daffron flies to right. Georgia comes up scoreless. They strand three after two base hits. We'll move to the bottom of the first inning. Georgia zero, North Carolina coming up. This is the 2007 Tournament of State Champions on MSPN. We go to the bottom half of inning number one. Georgia came up scoreless in the top of the first. They stranded three. Now North Carolina has a chance to dent the plate. They'll face Connor Smith, the pitcher for Georgia. Connor Smith is 1-0 in tournament play thus far. Four innings pitched. He's given up five runs, three of those earned. North Carolina really got the bats erupting late in the ball game yesterday. He trailed 9-2 in the bottom of the fourth. They scored eight runs in the fifth. After the pitching change from Tennessee last night, they really, it was almost like they flipped the switch and, and really started hitting the baseball. Matt Allen will stand in now for North Carolina. Jeremiah Stevens doing the catching. Connor Smith with the 1-1 pitch. That's chopped slowly to the left side. Bobbled by the third baseman, Daffron. He picks it up, and he is in time. Good recovery by Caleb Daffron to fire that ball over to Cortez Broughton and get the speedy Matt Allen. 5-3 on the put out there. Nice play, as you mentioned, by Daffron at third base. He knocked that ball down, picked it up barehanded. So many times you see these young players trying to pick it up with their glove hand. He does a nice job barehanding it and gets it over to first. Seen quite a few home runs hit here at Mitch Stadium as well. Smith with the windup and a payoff pitch on the way, and it is swung on a miss. Breaking ball that Cardwell couldn't come up with. And the first strikeout of the night for Connor Smith is out number two for North Carolina, and Dylan Carpenter, the catcher, will come to the plate. Connor Smith shakes off one sign from Stevens, gets the one he likes, and now the 3-2. Swing and a miss by Carpenter. And Smith strikes out two of the three outs in the bottom of the first inning. Nothing across for North Carolina. We'll move. Bottom third of the order due up for Georgia. Connor Smith, Ross Martin, and Jake Farrell will face David Cardwell here in the second. For Smith, it's a chance to help himself out. 
Here's a pop-up to the right side. Heath Hawkins, the first baseman, ranges to his right and puts it away for out number one. Smith pops out to first. With one away, the right fielder, Ross Martin, will step to the plate. All the time, but we've seen a couple of them actually in this, this tournament, left-handed catchers, and it gives him a nice target outside. 2-2, two -two, looped into center field. That's going to drop in front of Matt Newmoff in for a base hit, and Georgia picks up its third hit of the tournament, a single to center from Ross Martin. So he's aboard with one away, and Jake Farrell, the center fielder, will come to the plate. And if Farrell gets on, you're back to the top of the order for the dangerous hitting Justin Jones. Here's the 3-0. That one misses outside, ball four, and two are aboard here for Georgia in the second inning. They threaten once again. Remember, they stranded the bases loaded in the top of the first inning. Justin Jones wearing one of the many items found at the Mitch Mall, the Mitch Stadium wristband. Here's the 0-2. Swung on, lined in the gap in right center. That one's going to the wall. Here comes Ross Martin around third. He'll score. The throw comes back to the infield, and holding it third base is Jake Farrell. It's a double to right center for Justin Jones, and Georgia has a one to nothing lead. Hitting 500. This one's popped up on the infield. Off the mound is David Cardwell to make the catch for out number two. Justin Jones at second, Jake Farrell is at third for Georgia. Spencer Sato at the plate. The 3-1 pitch to him is inside and actually hit it. So it's ball four. It was ball four anyway, but it did catch him. So a hit batsman loads the bases for Cortez Broughton. Here's the 1-0 and Broughton swings and grounds this one to second base. Wine set with a high hop, flips over to first base to Heath Hawkins to retire the side. So North Carolina, Kind of stays away from a big inning. They give up one run, two hits, no errors, and once again, three runners left on base. We'll move to the bottom of the second inning. Georgia leading North Carolina one to nothing. This is the championship game of the 2007 Tournament of State Champions on MSPN. Keith Hawkins will lead things off. He'll be followed by Hunter Kalana and Kevin Dobas. Jason Philly and John Gregory here with you on the 2007 Tournament of State Champions championship game. 3-1 pitch is grounded in the hole. Nice diving stop by Blake Jackson. Gets up and fires to first in time for the out. Nice looking play by Jackson at shortstop. 6-3 on the put out to cut down Heath Hawkins. Connor Smith gets the sign from Jeremiah Stevens. Into the windup and the 0-1. Kalana swings and grounds it to short. Couple of hops for Blake Jackson. Again, fields and throws over to Broughton in time for out number two. Six to three again on the put out. Two up and two down quickly for North Carolina here in the second inning. That'll bring up third baseman Kevin Dobas. Smith with a windup and the pitch. That one's lined to the right side off the glove of a diving Justin Jones and into right field and Dobas has the first hit for North Carolina here in the ball game. Good diving attempt by Jones there at second base, but just a little bit short on that diving attempt. So Doba singles to right, and Josh Winesett will step to the plate, the second baseman. Here's the first pitch, and that's inside. It goes to the backstop. Dobas breaks for second. There will be no throw, and Dobas will make it on the wild pitch. There's a big gap there in left center field if Winesett can find that. Here's the one, two, and he swings and misses at the breaking ball for out number three. No runs a hit, a runner left on in the second inning for North Carolina. We move to the third, Georgia one, North Carolina zero. And we're seeing a nice pitching performance here tonight by Connor Smith. But in district tournament play, they shut out every opponent. And they average 14 and a half runs in the state tournament. Here's a shot into right field that's going to drop in front of Hunter Kalana. And the fifth hit of the ball game comes off the bat of Jeremiah Stevens, a single to right. You know, you like to see a pitcher maybe once or twice, and then you get his rhythm. When you just see him one time, you're, you're focusing on a different pitcher each time, and it's maybe a little bit hard to adjust to that. Daffron swings at a pitch that may have been out of the strike zone, and he goes down swinging for out number one. Cardwell gets the sign into the windup, the 3-1, and Smith swings and sends a long fly ball into deep center field. That ball is gone. Off the center field scoreboard, Connor Smith goes deep, and Georgia leads it three to nothing. Oh! 
Smith got a pitch he liked, drove it out of the park, and just like that, Georgia goes up by three. <laughs> yeah, you can see that Georgia team having a lot of fun. They all waited for him to come home, and as he touched home plate, all the players fall down, and that's the one thing about this is these players have been having a lot of fun just out there talking to them. Or me. You know, there's a lot, a lot of innings to play in this ball game. Just calm them down, and you know, we'll, they're going to score runs. This North Carolina team will put some runs on the board. It's just a matter of holding this Georgia team in place. North Carolina and Georgia. Right now, Georgia has a 3-0 lead in the top of the third. Here's a hot shot by a diving Kevin Dobas at third and in the left field. Ross Martin reaches with a single to left. He is now two for two. And the number nine hitter will come to the plate. That's Jake Farrell. George is the only team to go through undefeated in pool play and in tournament round as well. This pitch is high and goes off the glove of Dylan Carpenter. So on his way to second is Ross Martin. That'll be a pass ball. You can look up, up, up above that nice scoreboard you were talking about. Both states' flags are flying out there, and they've been doing that throughout the tournament. This pitch is in the dirt as it kicks away again from Carpenter. That enables Ross Martin to move over to third or on the mound. Two balls and two strikes to Farrell, and the pitch is taken at the letters for a called strike, and Farrell can't believe it, but it was right there. He's caught looking for out number two. But that might not be an option here, as it looks like we'll have a pitching change, and Cardwell will be replaced on the mound. The new pitcher for North Carolina is Hunter Kalana. He's a lefty, and he'll 2-2, smacked into left field. That's a base hit. Here comes Martin to score the fourth run of the ball game, and Georgia leads it four to nothing. Another RBI for Justin Jones. He picked up one in the second. Now he gets a run scoring single here in the third. No balls and a strike. And Jackson swings and lines this one to short, where it's gloved by Matt Allen to retire the side. But Georgia strikes for three more runs on four hits. They strand a runner. We'll go to the bottom of the third inning. Georgia, four. North Carolina, zero. Three balls, no strikes to Masardo, And he will take this pitch inside, ball four. So the first walk given up by Connor Smith. The leadoff runner is aboard for the first time tonight for North Carolina. Now Tyler Hobensack will pinch hit. Hobensack looking for his first hit in the tournament. He's 0 for 4. Number 34, Tyler. Hobensack. So Hobensack will get to hit for the first time. And he swings and grounds the first pitch to the right side. Nice effort by Justin Jones to come up with that ball and he'll flip over to Broughton at first base to get the out. On his way to second is Alex Masardo to Allen, Connor Smith. End of the windup, and the pitch is swung on and lifted into center field. Jake Farrell is under it. Backpedals about two steps, makes the catch. Tagging and going to third is Masardo. The throw is not in time. So Masardo hustling down to third will advance on the flyout by Matt Allen. And with two away, David Cardwell. And the pitch, a breaking ball once again, and Cardwell swings and misses, and that will retire the side. For North Carolina, no runs, no hits, a runner left on base. Halfway through this one, Georgia four, North Carolina zero. Kalana again staring in, the 0-1 is swung on and popped up on the right side. Keith Hawkins is under it, he'll put it away for out number one. Here's Cortez Broughton, and the first pitch to him is chopped to third. It's gonna be gloved by David Cardwell. The throw across is in time for out number two, five to three on the put out. Quickly two up and two down here in the fourth for Georgia. That'll bring up catcher Jeremiah Stevens. Here's the 2-2. Swung on, fly ball, shallow left field. That one will drop in front of left fielder. Masardo. and on his way to second base will be Jeremiah Stevens. He's got a double. And we'll get a pinch hitter here. Georgia has yet to make a substitute, but here we will see Trey Maddox. That opportunity. Here's a line shot up the middle and through for a base hit. Stevens is being waved around. The throw will come back into the infield. No throw to the plate. Stevens scores the fifth run, and Georgia has gone on top five to nothing. A lot of, 
we've seen a lot of balls hit over these guys' heads, so nice for them to play deep and prevent that double or triple. Payoff pitch is swung on a miss by Smith, and that will retire the side, but Georgia gets another run on two hits. They strand a runner. We'll move to the bottom of the fourth inning. Georgia five, North Carolina zero. This is the catcher, number 11, Dylan Carpenter. It's our call of the game down the right field line. Three balls, two strikes, nobody out. The payoff pitch, and Carpenter swings and misses. That is out number one here in the fourth. That is the fifth strikeout of the evening for Connor Smith. A lot of times the thing to do is try to throw inside and it'll jam the hitter. Here's the one, two, breaking ball, swing and a miss by Hawkins, and the first two have gone down on strikes here in the fourth inning. That's three consecutive strikeouts by Connor Smith. That will bring up Hunter Kalana. You mentioned the six strikeouts that Connor Smith has. If you're wondering what the strikeout record is for a single game, it's been 14. Will Smith out of St. Matthews, Kentucky, did it in 2005, had 14 strikeouts. Here's a hot shot up the middle, backhanded by Justin Jones at second, flips over to first in time for the out. Another nice play by the second baseman, Justin Jones, to retire the side. Three up and three down in the fourth inning for North Carolina. We'll move to the fifth. Georgia 5, North Carolina 0. Back at legendary Mitch Stadium, the 2007 championship game of the Tournament of State Champions. Hunter Kalana will face Ross Martin. Kalana sets and delivers the 3-2, and that one is taken on the outside corner by Martin for a called strike. He goes down looking for out number one here in the fifth. They'll keep Jake Farrell in the lineup. Here's the 0-2 from Kalana, and it is swung on and lifted into deep left field. Masardo back, that one is gone. Off the Everoni sign in left center field, and Jake Farrell on an 0-2 count, knocks it out of the park, and Georgia now leads it six to nothing. Well, maybe I was looking to see if he looked at the home plate umpire when he was crossing <laughs> the plate. He never looked up at him, and having too much fun with the rest of the players. And you can see some of the players for this North Carolina team actually coming over and shaking the hand. And that's kind of what it's been like all this week as good sportsmanship is shown by the visiting team or whatever team's playing out there. That's a nice sign to see these guys come over and congratulate them. Pitcher Connor Smith has given up just one hit through four innings. Here's the 3-1. Jones takes it, high ball four. So Jones is on for the third time in four plate appearances today, and Blake Jackson, the shortstop, will come to the plate. Kalana with a stretch in the 0-1 pitch. Swung on, grounded hard to short. Allen Fields flips to second for one. That's all they'll get as Dobas makes the catch and looks to first, and Blake Jackson had already reached the bank. So no throw to first base. Fielder's choice for Jackson, 6-4 to four on the putout. Well, Spencer Sato will not get a chance to hit here. Instead, it will be Brandon Green. Here's the payoff pitch, and that one misses inside ball four, and Green draws a walk. Second walk of the inning issued up by Hunter Kalana. Now runners at first and second, and Cortez Broughton at the plate. The 0-1 is grounded up the middle, knocked down by the pitcher, Kalana. He picks it up and will have no play. Rotten hustling down the line. That one went off the glove and maybe the foot there. Kalana went behind the mound, and by the time he chased it down, Broughton was already down to first base. So now the bases are loaded for Jeremiah Stevens. Here's the payoff pitch, and Stevens takes it on the inside corner for a called strike, and that will retire the side. So for the third time tonight, Georgia leaves the bases loaded, but they do pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and three runners left on base. We move to the bottom of the fifth inning. Georgia six, North Carolina zero. North Carolina running out of outs here. They are up in the bottom of the fifth inning, down by six, six nothing. They only have one hit to this point, and that was by the leadoff hitter here in the fifth inning, Kevin Dobas. He singled in the second inning. Smith with the payoff pitch, swung on and grounded to second base. Justin Jones is up with it. He'll throw over to Broughton in time for out number one. Four to three on the putout. And that will bring up Ryan Clinton. You know, ball clubs have been here. Both these teams have, so they have experience. Here's a bunt attempt by Clinton. It's fielded by the pitcher, Smith, and he will throw. Nice play in time to get the out. One to three on the putout. 
Three balls, two strikes, two outs, nobody on. And the pitch to Masardo misses high and in ball four. So just the third base runner of the night for North Carolina, the second time that Alex Masardo has been on with a walk. That'll bring up the number nine hitter, Tyler Hobensack. Well, this is it. He's hoping to get it out to get out of the inning. Payoff pitch on the way. And Newmoff takes it at the letters on the corner for a called strike. He goes down looking to retire the side. No runs, no hits, and a runner left on base. We move to the sixth inning. Six nothing, Georgia on top of North Carolina here in the championship game, the tournament of state champions. A ball and two strikes. Smith swings and misses and goes down on strikes for the second consecutive at bat, two away. And Ross Martin, the right fielder, will come to the plate. Here's a 3-1, and that one misses inside, ball four. A two-out walk to the number eight hitter, Ross Martin, who's aboard for the third time. And that will bring up Jake Farrell. Here's a 3-1 with two outs, and that one misses outside, ball four. So after retiring the first two hitters, Kalana has walked the eight and nine hitters and back to the top of the order for Justin Jones in the Mitch Stadium. Production Network. Here's the 0-1, and Jones swings and lines this one deep into right field, but right at Ryan Clinton, and sliding down, he makes the catch. He backed up on it, then came up a step and fell down to make the catch to retire the side. So Georgia strands two more runners. Caleb Daffron back in the lineup at second base. That'll send Justin Jones to short with Jackson moving from short to the pitcher's mound. Connor Smith now playing third base. Payoff pitch to Matt Allen, and Allen takes it at the letters for a called strike. And he goes down looking for out number one in the North Carolina sixth. 3-1 is taken high and away ball four. So a one out walk issued to David Cardwell who reaches base for the first time. And that brings up Dylan Carpenter, the catcher. Well, that's the combination. If you can get the pitching and defense and uh, any type of hitting, it's how you win championships, and they certainly have the pitching and the defense, boy, and you know, that goes without saying they have the offense. Two balls and a strike. Jackson working from the stretch, and the pitch misses inside. It kicks away from the catcher, and on to third goes David Cardwell. Another wild pitch for North Carolina. Here's the payoff pitch, and that one is taken just inside ball four. So for the first time in the ball game, North Carolina has two runners on. Runners at the corners, first and third, one out, and Heath Hawkins comes to the plate. Jackson again from the stretch, the one-two. Hawkins checks his swing, that one bounces in front of the plate. The runner will go to second base, staying at third is Cardwell, but Clinton will advance on the wild pitch. Jackson gets the sign, he sets, and delivers the two-two. Breaking ball, swung on, long fly ball into deep center field. That one is gonna bounce off the base of the fence. Here comes Cardwell to score. They're going to wave around Clinton. The throw comes in to second base and a run scoring single, two run single for Heath Hawkins. He hit that to the deepest part of the park and now North Carolina's on the board at six to two. Jackson from the windup now, the 3-0 misses high ball four. That's the third walk of the inning given up by Blake Jackson. Runners at first and second, two runs in and time is called. New pitcher for Georgia. It will be Cortez Broughton out of the count 0 and 1. And Doba swings and sends a fly ball into right field. Daffron is under it, makes the catch for out number two. The runners will have to hold. So now North Carolina is down to its final out here in the championship game. It will be up to Josh Winesett. Broughton with the stretch and the 3 1. And that misses outside ball four, and the bases are loaded. The tying run is at the plate, and Alex Misardo, 6 to 2, Georgia on top of North Carolina. New pitcher in the lineup is Justin Jones. And the 3 1. That is taking low ball four. It's a 6 to 3 ball game. Heath Hawkins will come in to score the third run. Over to third goes Hunter Kalana. To second goes Josh Winesett. Tyler Hobensack looking for his first hit in the tournament. Base is loaded. Jones delivers the 0-2. Swing and a miss. 
And everything's peachy in Warner Robins because Georgia has just won the 2007 Tournament of State Champions at Mitch Stadium with a 6-3 win over North Carolina.